at the heart of every burger is high quality meat. And I believe in the Holy Trinity. Chuck neck roll, which is up a little bit closer to the neck. Claude, which is a little further down on the leg. And then of course, brisket. So at the heart of every neighborhood services burger, whether it's wet age, dry age, you'll see these three components. Try to develop a good relationship with one of your neighborhood butchers, right? And tell them what you want. And just have them grind you some different, some different muscle ratios. If you're cooking over the grill, you generally want to go just a little tiny bit leaner. A little tiny bit leaner. If you're cooking in the pan or if you're going to griddle, I try to bump the fat up just a little tiny bit. We don't do anything different in seasoning in steaks or burgers. Any red meat gets this mixture. And this is just kosher salt and what's known as a quarter crack butcher grind uh, black pepper. Hey, just a little bit of American cheese. That's going to have the onion in it. Okay, straight little bit of mayonnaise, chiffonade lettuce, little bit of tomato. These have a little thin slice of horseradish pickle. Obviously, American cheese right over the top. What we do to caramelize onions, obviously, you know, slice them really, really thin, get a big rondo or a big pot, nice and hot. We season the onions ahead of time, so we hit them with this same salt and pepper mix, okay? Toss those onions in a big mixing bowl, and then we'll hit them in a, in a hot rondo or a big wide pan um, with a little bit of oil, okay? We'll start that caramelization, right? And then about halfway, we'll add a little bit of butter. Let that melt down, and then we'll hit it with just a little tiny bit of balsamic vinegar, just a little bit of balsamic, and a little bit of Worcestershire. Um, but it really starts with great meat, you know, buns obviously, super important. Um, what kind of bun was that? That is actually from a little bakery in Garland, Texas called La Francaise. And um, we've worked with them. We've also done a lot of stuff with Village Baking Company. Village Baking Company does our buns, you know, everywhere right now. Straight American, right, cheddar. And it's probably, it's probably a runner-up between... Um, between a good Munster and, uh, and, and a smoked Gouda. Uh, peanut butter, uh, tomato jam. We just take a whole bunch of chopped tomatoes, a whole bunch of chopped tomatoes, and we'll generally do a ratio, depending on the time of year, equal parts, whole peeled, right, Stanislaus whole peeled tomatoes, and, um, and, and, and fresh Roma. It's generally, you throw all that in a pot with a little bit of salt and a whack load of sugar and just a little bit of water, and you just cook the living hell out of it. Yeah, you just cook it, stir it, cook it, stir it, till it's got the kind of consistency that you like. Take it out and let it sit, and that's really, it's really that simple. It's really that simple. And of course, peanut butter and jelly works. What kind of peanut butter is that? Creamy Jif, is there another? <laughs> yeah. It's not only is something gonna be tasty, but is it something that you're gonna crave, right? Does it have an impactful flavor memory? Or is it kind of a, you know, a big burst and no, and no burn, right. right? We talk about that with flavors all the time. There are certain flavors, and I don't mean like, Scoville unit hot. I just mean that flavors that kind of burn into your memory and become something that you carry with you and like, wow, I want to taste that again.